two, one. All right, part two of this shit. I still think I got a lot of shit that I got to say about all this. It's not Washington Heights. It's, it's, it's not, not Washington Heights. Heights. At all. I should have made a show about Flybridge instead. Me and my friends made an agreement that they should have made a show about actual thugs in the Heights. Try to go for some Compton vibe. Even though the Heights ain't that tough, but... Exactly. I mean, there's a, there's a new gang every minute in the Heights. Whether it's Patria, Trinitario. There's going to be a gang all the time. Still, that would have been a lot more entertaining. It would have made it yeah. feel more authentic than a bunch of guys are trying to make it big in the media industry that already is selective, clothes, and they probably have no room in it unless they go really hardcore in that Illuminati shit. Anyway, <laughs> because why not? And they could have tried something a lot more creative. I'm not going to try and stand here and act like a Monday morning quarterback, but when you have a certain number of time to do something, and this is what you come out with, then there's a problem. I could understand a little inaccuracies, like maybe going to Dykeman or Inwood when those aren't technically the heights or even going to uh, fucking Riverdale. That shit is in the Bronx. How can that, how can you talk about Manhattan and then show a part of the Bronx like that extensively for, and it was for a subplot between that wannabe Dominican Puerto Rican guy that's trying to cheat with his white girl for that ugly ass my uptown girl. There should be no reason for this. I could understand those inaccuracies, but the rooftop party? I don't believe that you guys are stupid when you did that. I, I don't really think that you guys were bullshitting us when you did that. You were, you're, you're trying to do something, right? Like Project X, maybe? And get these horny teens excited for something? Because. Now that's God, a good movie. Because, God forbid. These people have something substantial to do, so let's create a new fad for parties. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Hmm. Rooftop parties. That's, that sounds like a good idea, but I don't really know a good show where we can introduce that idea. Hmm. What about this one with Washington Heights? That I can imagine a rooftop party in an uptown area like that that's so hectic. Let, yeah, sure. I think you guys implanted it like that. You guys want to start a stupid little fad and show that, yeah, I go to rooftop parties. It doesn't happen. Go to rooftop parties. Security's going to be on your dick. I mean, I, I've tried that in Fordham a few times, and as soon as I started walking up the stairs, and we were trying all sorts of tricks, too, like, Maybe one tile sets off the alarm, or maybe we should just climb up. Uh, oh no, it keeps ringing for a long time. Yeah, that's what happens. We try different methods of getting up, and we never manage to do it. And some people say, oh, maybe it's just the shoes we're using. Oh, well, trial and error, we couldn't find a way to get up there to chill on the rooftop. I don't even know why, but at least that was in the summer. But guess what? That doesn't fucking happen in the Heights. That's the point. You guys implanted that. I'm going out saying that that's a conspiracy. And I don't jump the conspiracy card, but there is no fucking way that you guys can possibly make a stupid mistake like that. You guys aren't trying to create some sort of authentic Heights vibe. You guys are just trying to sell some shit. I mean, you could have easily sold some... Fucking Bossolita Corner swag or some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Made it a cool nigga thing. Yeah, so Bossolita was on the corner. My grandpa does that shit. I'm wavy and it's a, it's a white kid from Miami. <laughs> yeah, that you, you could have easily done that, but no. That, that's not interesting enough for you guys. You want to predetermine it. So, um, rooftop parties? That, that sounds, that sounds cool. 
Like we we can sell that to the kids. Now kids are gonna mm-hmm. be stupid and engage in rooftop parties. Yeah. yeah. That really the I'm not nitpicking. That really is pissing me off. That pisses me off a lot more than I really expected. Fucking rooftop parties. TV doesn't make you yeah, TV does make you. I've seen a grill. You know, in the spots where you throw out the trash, you enter in the gate. People had a barbecue in there, in that dirty ass alleyway. People have alleyway rat, cat, stray cats, by the way, barbecues, or whatever they cooked in that grill. Now. I've seen barbecues in one forty four. And Broadway, between Riverside and Broadway, where they have barbecues in the little aisle by the trash. Yeah, they, they dump the trash. Yeah, they do that. We they have do those. They don't do rooftop. Oh, but that's not commercial. Uh, <laughs> no, one, no one's gonna be swag enough to like have fucking alleyway rat mildew barbecues. But oh, rooftop parties. That's commercial. That's. You can sell that. Oh, we're doing it like we do it in the Heights. Rooftop parties. Posers. Posers, nigga. <laughs> I'll actually go to a rooftop. I'm going to ask the landlord. Yo, can I go to a rooftop and have a party? <laughs> that white-ass, probably Mormon landlord. That Mitt Romney-ass fucking <laughs> landlord. Let me let me ask him. Can I have a rooftop party? Just, j- just to see what happens. <laughs> Let's see all the helicopters, you know, those police officers that stopped me before. Let's see if those guys come over there. Oh, yo, we'll have a rooftop party. We'll join in. We want to do it like we do it in the Heights. Yo, suck my dick. Fucking rooftop parties. What else do we have? What stupid ass parties we have uh, besides making a parade, uh, wrecking our own fucking neighborhoods? Um, hmm. House parties. House parties. Apartment parties? Yeah, house parties. Um, that's a general thing. Yeah, that's more of a general thing. But, um, Things we do that's crazy. Jokes? Some stupid dances that like, you come out with? So, <laughs> I never heard of that. Do yeah. it. I want to see it. I, I never saw it, but I actually told my friends that I, I probably had a chance to go to G-dubs with like the transfer to high school thing. And they said, oh, you would have not been the same. You would have been the baseball team doing jokes and everything. With those immigrant-ass motherfuckers. And I agree <laughs> with them. That probably would have been my fate instead of repping gangs from the Bronx. And shit like that. Let's see what happens. But, like, what's really, what's really the image that's really... What's the genuine image that's being portrayed about Washington Heights from where, where you grew up in? What's the genuine image? Like, what have you caught about Washington Heights that's real about it, that's constant, that you saw at this show? I mean, I went to other neighborhoods to do my own thing, and when I come back home, when I come back to the Heights, it's not the same as an Inwood. It's not the same as a Riverdale. There is a different vibe. You can have part in a neighborhood where there are a lot of Dominicans, but it isn't the Heights. It doesn't have that Heights vibe. I go up a few blocks and it's a different scene. Right, so well, well, so what? Do you, how do you define the Heights vibe? The Heights vibe? Yeah, how do you define The old that? men playing dominoes outside. They could have showed 181st St. Nick, couldn't they? Right! <laughs> Thank well, you! What about those Dominican girls that in, are in the summer they get... They undress. They wear loose clothing. Could you have that for a setting? Or maybe you could have had some more legit-ass Dominicans. What about some Dominican stereotypes? They had the accents, the abuelitas, but they didn't have everything. We didn't see the pastelitos. We didn't see the pastelito guys. We didn't see the icy man. I see man's wavy. Why don't you include him? You don't include the old people, but you include the young people that are trying to break out of the fucking neighborhood. You're making a fucking show about. That's brilliant. That's smart right there. We could have had something on maybe... What was it? Like the vibe? Like the vibe? You mean? It's just, no, it's just a lot of us. 
So it wasn't the attitude. It wasn't the attitude. Well, it was different times. So we used to, like, but there was a lot of us. Like it was a, uh, like youth. Like now, I don't see. I see like people in front of the park and like. In front of the building. But it's not like how we were. Like we used to go out clubbing, a hundred of us. Okay. You know what I mean? And we used to have the parties, Lost like, Boys. Huge, yeah, we used to have huge parties. And and it was just. Yeah, was, and they're way weirder than parties in this crappy ass no, show, no, right? No, no, no. It was a, a party that like took over. Like there was at least. They had no coronas. Pieces. I just realized that no coronas. They didn't show any bodegas. Yeah, yeah what's up with that? They no bodegas. A, they show a nail salon. That's it. That's what you get out of watching. No that. bodegas. Nail salon. I could. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I could walk one block and I probably walk past four bodegas. They show no bodegas. <laughs> they show no I bodegas. Can't, uh. I can't explain it to you. So what do you get when you walk the streets of the Heights? What do you? What attitude do you get from people? From the people yeah. from about the corner guys. In comparison to what you saw in the show. Well, in the show, they kind of portrayed something that was a lot more commercial, a lot less Heights. I mean, you can't you can't market Coronas, Bodega guys, Botaliso guys, right. Icy guys, uh, old men playing dominoes. You can't market those dirty ass grill things, wrecking your own fucking neighborhood the way they wrecked their neighborhood. Fuck you, nineteen sixties. <laughs> but like, what's the attitude that you get when you walk by? When you walk from school, what attitude do you get from people in the street? Are they more mostly busy? They're like, hey. I mean, there's that energy. There's that energy, right? There's Over energy. here, what, what, in my image, what I saw in this show was just... It was stale. It was dry. It, it was, was dry. dry. I, I basically wanted to go outside even more because I knew that it couldn't possibly this be this dry. And it isn't this dry. It's not. <laughs> it's... Yeah, there's just so much more energy. Oh, you could go to the whitest spot in the Heights, and there's probably more energy than in this one. What's that place up, up here? By 181st Haven Ave, or some, some shit like that, where you actually see whiteies and stuff like that. But that has more energy than this. Uh, Is that interesting? Yeah, there's, there's a legit energy. That's why people were mad in the first place that neighborhoods... And, that's why I made that gentrification of Washington Heights videos. You want to know what that video was about? That video was about this. That video was about <laughs> this. About outsiders going into the Heights, changing it, not to something that's more civil, not changing it to something more proper, educated, patriarchal, masculine, uh, strong, stable, or peaceful. No, they changed it into something that's everything that was the problem, but commercialized. Exactly. Dry. Yeah, that, that's, that's the whole vibe of the show gives me. That's why I said that, okay, while a McDonald's burger it definitely is tasty, even though it's not good for you, there are some foods, like a filet of fish that they taste like shit, and they're not good for you on top of that. And that is this show. It's not going to improve your intelligence to watch this show, and it's not going to be entertaining either. It's, it's dry and stupid, so... That's a lose-lose situation. And it's going to hurt them too because they're not going to make any money out of that shit. At least unless they step up their game. So do you feel that Washington Heights is way better than what is being portrayed? It's way fucking better. And I want to I leave this place. I'm not going to lie. I want to leave this place. Too much drama here. Too much bullshit that's happening. But it's nowhere near as bad as that place. I would have left if I... As soon as I became self-conscious, I would have wanted to leave that heights. Because that heights, that ain't the wavy heights. That's not subscribe. That's not the wavy heights. Alright. So that's the end of my videos. Mr. Wonka 7, that's the D, nigga.